Hello and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 3 Creating a Drill Down Report Part 2 brought to you by MS Consulting. This part focuses on linking the two reports as well as creating the second report. On the screen is a screenshot with the location of the full article with more in depth information about this tutorial as well as the starting point for this tutorial. We also are assuming that you have completed part one of this tutorial, otherwise some of this won't work at all. And to start out, we're going to pick up right where we left off on the last one, which is here at the home page for application 104. And similar to creating the report for the first part, we're going to click create page. We're going to create another report page. And we're going to use the wizard report again. We're going to click next and this time it's going to be on page number two. Its page title is going to be Order Items and Order Items for the region title as well. <laughs> Everything else is okay, we click Next. Okay, and our consult is already set as our view owner we're going to go to our view our tables and we're going to pull up our OEHR order items table and we are going to select in order here order item ID followed by order ID followed by unit price followed by quantity now yes we're selecting them out of order because that's the order we want them to be displayed in and there we can see that. Now we're going to drop down and we're going to go to our OEHR product information to join this with another table. You can also have a radio button to show all the tables or just related tables. I changed it here for this example it doesn't make any difference. And then what we're going to do is from the available columns from our product information table we're going to select product name and also put that into our list of columns to be displayed. And once we have all of those set, we're going to click Next. Going to check our join conditions. Right now they're all OK. And the report options are OK, so we're going to click Next. Going to check our options and say click Report or Create Report Page. Then we're going to run a quick test on it, make sure it works. And yep, there it is, showing us our product name, our unit prices, our quantities, and our orders. So this report's working okay. So now we can work on linking the two reports. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit Page 2. We have to, uh, first thing we have to do is we have to create an item for, the, for this page for things to work right. So we're going to click on the Create next to the item, the items area. We're going to create a hidden item. Click Next. This one just needs to be hidden. It doesn't need to be protected. So we're going to select Hidden. And we're going to give it a name of P2 underscore order underscore ID. Then we're going to select a region for it to go into. In this case, we're going to select the top one that says Order Items. And then we're going to click Next. And the source, nothing needs to be changed on this page. So we're going to go ahead and click Create Item. Okay, now we've created the item. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on linking page, page 1 and page 2, or essentially linking the two reports together. So here on page 2, we're going to select the order items, I'm sorry, the report for the order items, and this will bring up the report attributes, and we're going to go to the query definition, and we're going to go down here and we're going to modify our join conditions. We have to do this after we created that item because it's the item that is actually what's going to facilitate the linking of, of the two different reports. 
So on the left side we're going to click our up arrow and we're actually going to have to search for some we're actually going to have to go find what we're looking for in this case. So we're going to type in order ID and click search and this will find instances of that in our current schema that we've selected for that table that's being used in this report. In this case only one popped up so that's the one we select. Then on the other side rich join condition we're actually going to clear that out and we're going to type in the name of our item that we created. Then we're going to click apply changes. Okay, now we've updated that join condition for for the second page. Now what we're going to do is going to click the report on the order items again and actually click the order items area this time. And we're going to change the title of the region. And we're going to change its title to be order items for order number and then we're going to put in the special string that will uh, put the exact order ID that you're looking at into the title. We do that by putting in our item name. Remember the period at the end. And then we click apply changes for that and the region has been updated. Now that we're done with that, we need to go back to page one. So I'm going to come up here to the top, type in page one, and hit the go button. That will change me over to the page one editing. And we're going to go to regions. And we're going to edit the report for the orders area. And we're going to edit the order ID column. And what we need to do first is we need to, up at the top, go to show all, since Apex remembered that the last place we were was the formatting tab and we're going to scroll down till we get to link text. This is where we're going to define where the link will be, what it looks like, and where it's going to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our page to say page 2. This defines what the end target will be. And then what we're going to do is we're going to define the name and value for an item. We're going to click our flashlight here, and this will give us valid names for items on page 2 that we can talk to, in this case the, page, the P2 order ID, and its value is going to be populated from page 1 by the, exact, by the order ID that's clicked. And then the link text, this will define what the, text, what the link looks like. In this case, we're just going to set it up so that it says the order ID as well. Now that we have this set, we can scroll back up and click Apply Changes. And zoom out here, and then we'll rerun the page. And as you can see now, all of the entries in the order ID column are now clickable links. Um, the orders page and when you click on one of them it will automatically bring up and populate the order items report as well as changing its region its area title and gives you everything that was on that report we hope that you found this tutorial useful and we look forward to seeing you again soon